Things around here are completely under control. It might seem like we're taking on a lot, but I know we can do this. It's just a matter of delegating. Harriet is spending the morning Kate tasting for the baby shower while Jane and I go over the press release for the opening. Actually, what we're really preparing for is how to handle the chaos that will ensue after we announce the name of the super secret celebrity owner. And speaking of secrets, who texted me this morning? Frank Churchill. He's going to be in the neighborhood and he wanted to drop something off for Harriet. A gift of some kind. Not only was it his idea, not mine, but I don't even know what it is. So there, bet on that snarky nightly. So the longer we withhold information, the more curious the people are and the more interested they'll be in the restaurant and the opening. Exactly. That's why we wait as long as possible before announcing, to build anticipation. But if everyone finds it so intriguing, then why announce anything at all? Let's just keep it a secret. A secret's only interesting when it's new. After about a month or so, no one cares anymore. They'll move on to the next big thing. That's kind of sad. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Please. No. Sorry. Go on. So until we announce, the press releases will focus on the concept, the green initiative, and the location. And after we do announce, we will be flooded with inquiries. Maybe we should bring on a temp so Harriet doesn't get overwhelmed. Why would Harriet be overwhelmed? Frank, <laughs> welcome back. That's easy, I always feel welcome here. Good morning, Miss Fairfax. Good morning, Mr. Churchill. Big don't ignore the question. What's wrong with our Harriet? Not a thing, she just might be a little busy for a while. Nothing to worry about. But I do worry, especially after the other night. That's why I brought her this. Voila! <laughs> For next time she's stranded. Ah. Instant cappuccino, bottled water, dark chocolate biscottis, solar charger, a travel book, and a teddy bear. The Frank Churchill survival kit. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. I'm sure she'll love it. You know what else she might need? Jumper cables, a flashlight, maybe a can of fix a flat. Anyone can get her that, but most people don't know how to turn an inconvenient situation into an adventure. And some people are too busy having fun to take precautions. Don't worry, Jane. I promise you, we will make sure Harriet has everything she needs. Anyways, sorry to interrupt your work. What were you two lovely ladies discussing before I got here? Uh, nothing much. Just how to best reveal the biggest secret in town. Ah, uh, yes. You mean that the one and only Mr. Pitt owns box. How did you know that? What do you mean? You told me. I most certainly did not. I haven't told anyone. Maybe Annie or Ryan mentioned it. They couldn't have. They don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I dreamed it. You'd be surprised how often Emma approved and all its inhabitants have entered my dreams. Or possibly you just heard it from someone else. I'm sure Mr. Pitt has told plenty of people. It's not worth worrying about. Uh, but I am worried. If news leaks before we announce, we will lose all of our momentum. We can't control who he talks to. It's better to just focus on what we can control. Like what? Like... My aunt's jams. She sent over a list of her new flavors and a box full of samples for us to try. I'll go get them. Oh, sorry. It's fine. What's wrong with Jane? She seems upset. I'm not sure. I think she's just cranky because she hasn't received any packages recently. Stop it. Or maybe she has. Maybe that's why she's upset. Do you think I should go ask her? Don't you dare. I think I should. I think I should go ask if she's gotten anything from overseas. Frank, no. Maybe from someone in London. Starts with a D, <laughs> ends with an X. Let's see what she says. Frank! Wow. <laughs> Never fear. Frank is here. I'll be very discreet. What was that about? Nothing, I swear, it was just a joke. I see. What's Frank doing here? He came to drop off a package for Harriet. Hmm. And then he just decided to stick around because he had nothing better to do. Well, we're all friends. Is there something wrong with that? No. I just remember a time when everybody in this office had to bend over backwards to try to get Frank on the phone, and now every time I turn around, there he is. Well, maybe he found something worth stopping by for. What? None of us are hairstylists. <laughs> you underestimate him. People can change, Alex Knightley. Maybe. Maybe not. Just be careful, Emma. You don't always know everything. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Behind the scenes.